Hello people, another beautiful day. Yeah, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good, or excellent. What? What's up Steam Deck fans, you know the Steam Deck tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, was good? Steam Deck Mod, what's happening? Steam Deck Squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks and freaks, and you investigators with your Bazite operating system. Ah! Alright, we're talking about Steam VR 2.0 here. Yeah, Steam VR 2.0. Listen to this. It says here, uh, introducing Steam VR 2.0. Welcome to the new v new Steam VR user interface. Update highlights. Today we are excited to ship Steam VR to all users. In this in this release, we bring all of what's new and exciting on Steam platform uh, uh, platform in VR. This is our first big step in a larger ongoing effort to better unify the Steam ecosystem for all users and providing a more consistent experience across the devices. This update also allows us to add new Steam features in future uh, much faster, uh, more uh, frequently. It says here, uh, something you will discover today, most of the current features of Steam and Steam Deck on our part of Steam VR. Update keyboard support for dual cursor typing, new language emojis and themes. Integration of Steam Chat and Voice ch and Voice Chat. Impress improved store that put new popular VR release front and center. Easy to easy access to Steam notifications. And yeah, it looks good. Anyway, it says here uh, to see the latest Steam VR features. Ensure your Steam client is updated. To update the Steam client, go to Steam, check for client update. And then it says, uh, we appreciate all the valuable feedback that we receive from players during the, this recent beta period. If, you, if you're interested in taking part in future Steam VR betas, follow the instruction to opt into Steam VR beta and Steam client uh, beta. If you encounter issues with this update, please post in Steam VR bug report forum. If possible, please include a system report to aid in tracking down your issues. Reply to this post are not tracked for bug reporting purpose. Please use the forum link above to report issues. In addition to the new dashboard interface features, this update brings a number of changes. Ready? It says here, release note Steam VR 2.0.8. Okay, fix a crash on exit for some U, uh, Unity titles. Increase the system layer resolution limit. This was previously 1.5x, the recommended uh, rendered target scale, but is now applied to width and height uh, independently. Fix a crash where a controller configuration would not be localized in the user preferred language as configured in Steam. Add a prompt to install the big screen beyond driver when the headset is detected, improve double click reliability in desktop view. Add a button to toggle multitasking view for desktop overlay, Windows 10 and 11 only. Hmm. Fix scaling issues with floating dashboard overlay. Fix for set skybox override, always showing only the last texture. Fix issues caused by running. Uh, V VR startup from the different Steam VR install when Steam VR is already running. Laser pointers, smoothing click, and double click refinements. Added support for dual laser typing on the new keyboard. Fix a bug where dismissing the keyboard would dismiss it forever in controller binding user interface. Fix cases where binding callout would stay up even when they should be dismissed. And desktop window now shows their actual icon in addition to their names. Yeah, you guys are getting updates, like always. Anyway, now for the dashboard, what did they add? Refresh styling to re refresh styling of the VR settings, and now playing overlay when using the new user 2.0 user interface. And it says in parentheses are connected to a Steam beta client. Sound effects are more consistent across Steam VR. User, uh, user element. Adjust more user 
interface colors for consistency. And then for index uh, control a firmware update. Hmm. Fix a bug where Aptic could stop responding after playing certain repeated Aptic events. Restore grip input functionality for EV3 developer controller that was broken in previous updates. Only EV3 and older developer hardware will be flagged for this update. Now for Meta. Meta update. Hide the Steam VR IPD slider since Meta already shows one. Meta controller dashboard uh, default binding B and Y navigates back through Steam user interface and right click in the desktop view has been moved to thumbstick click. Okay. Then it says, uh, let me cut this off. It says here, uh, <clears throat> says here uh, transition to the Steam Linux runtime 3.0. And then it says sniper for improved uh, compatibility. Fix runtime configuration to, la to launch in Steam Linux runtime 3.0. Sniper addressing startup issues on some system. And this, is, and this update is for, uh, is for Linux, right? Then it says fix VR compositor to launch under legacy uh, scout runtime addressing startup issues on some system and then it says fix steam vr home to launch under legacy scout runtime so far you got updates for let's see here you got you got general that's one dashboard that's two index controller firmware three uh, meta four and then you got for linux that's five and now for drivers <laughs> And it says here, for, dri for drivers, for drivers which provide a manifest, but don't specifically uh, resource resource only, default to true if there is no bin directory. Add a manifest entry. Show enabling uh, settings, which can be set to force a driver to appear in add-on settings, even if default rules would hide it. Then it says. When a specific driver is forced with the force driver settings or the VR underscore force underscore uh, test uh, underscore driver loads it even if it's if it is disabled. When a specific driver is forced with the force driver setting or the VR force uh, test driver only allow an HMD to act activate from that driver. Even if other drivers are loaded due to activate multiple drivers and they activate, activate an HMD first. The force driver always adds the first opportunity to activate an HDM before. Uh, now we will wait for it to hot plug an HD, HMD <laughs> rather than letting another HMD wins. The last known in the settings which updates the manufacturer and model of the last used HMD now also use tracks of the actual HMD driver lighthouse that provides HMD. Yeah. And those are the updates. <laughs> and, and, th and those are the updates for Steam VR. Two dots, two dot, let's see, what's this? Uh, it says two dot, I think it's two, two dot, zero dot eight, okay? Yeah, so you guys got some updates for Steam VR, so your, your user experience should be better. But um, if you run into any issues, uh, I send it back to the uh, Steam, uh, Steam VR, uh, beta and they'll check into it and see what they can come up with. Oh, uh -oh. Ah. other than that, um, you guys are good as far as like uh, deals, games and update. You know, like I told you before, uh, Valve, they are busy and um, they're always uh, updating things, whether it's from the Linux operating system side of things, whether it's from the, what, what, I mean, desktop and laptop. And then there's the Steam Deck, you know, as a whole. So they're always busy updating something within the Linux uh, ecosystem. So, yeah. 
you guys are you guys are good. So whatever updates I find, I will uh, uh, I'll let you guys uh, know about it too. There, there was an article too over on uh, Pharonix on this too. Uh, over over on Pharonix, they were talking about uh, uh, Steam uh, uh, Steam VR 2.0. So. Um, you know the the article that they had was short, but I went to the the actual site, so uh, uh, this should this should improve things as far as like the uh, the Steam Deck and VR goes. Because you know? the one the article on Pharonix goes like this: for those wishing to interact with Steam from the virtual reality VR headset, today Valve promotes Steam VR 2.0 to stable, and it says here uh, Steam VR had been in beta. For the past month, while today is being rolled out to all VR users, Steam VR 2.0 bring over most current Steam client and Steam Deck. The features to VR space, the keyboard has been updated with a variety of improvement, which I really, which I already covered. Then it says Steam Steam Chat and Voice Chat is now integrated. The Steam Store experience with VR Steam with Steam VR is vastly improved. And there is easy access to Steam notification. And it says here, uh, with the latest Steam VR 2.0.8 revision, there's also upgrades to the Steam Linux runtime sniper, fixing the VR compositor issues and other fixes. And yeah. Then it says, I think it's one more, it says there are many more details today. Foremost VR 2.0 release can be found. Steam Power, which I already read, so. You guys are covered, man. When it comes to the Steam Deck, the VR will continue to Steam VR will continue to um, to uh, to get updates, and um, you know it will Im improve things and improve the uh, the user uh, the user experience. So yeah, there, you guys are covered. Deals, games, updates. <laughs> yeah, keep you guys keep you guys posted. But other than that, I'm using my I'm using my headset, <laughs> which I should have been using. Just never, just never crossed my mind. I thought I thought I needed a mic. <laughs> thought I needed a mic, which your head, which my headset did have a mic. So you're looking at me like, really, you had this all all this time, and now you want, and now you want to use it. <laughs> so yeah, S save your eggs and tomatoes, man. <laughs> anyway, but other than that, man, um, you guys are good. You guys are good. Deals, games, update. The Steam Deck way. Anyway, I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on with the Steam Deck. Hope you enjoyed the video. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars is not your thing. Or Dark Side. Oh, God.